Hello, this is not a spring chicken. We just came from, of course, the first day of Cowboys and Aliens, and that's the big news for today. Oh, yeah, I guess we should, should we talk about this? We're well, just going to have to stay tuned for a review of it, because let's just say Old Cam has a unique perspective on it, because he's been in Westerns, oh, let's just say since he was a baby. <laughs> and so now for the news with Old Cam for OFN and News Video Web comments on the headlines of today. Obama orders the House <laughs> to ask, I think he meant pass the Democrats that no. bill. He said, that, no, he actually said he ordered them to act immediately. Oh, act immediately. Yeah. Okay, the notes I have say to ask the Democrats. <laughs> well, sometimes it gets sick. Sometimes there's a Freudian slip by whoever. <laughs> I know. Well, okay, we'll put it this way. The people that write my headlines for me are somewhat the, uh, okay, they get it from people that are very illiterate and call themselves news professionals. <laughs> and Obama's now being called the scarcer in chief. I know. No, the scarer in chief. The scarier. And irresponsible. I know. Rich, they told you there was a problem <laughs> with it. You know, they're, they're, they basically use the word processor to clean things up. But uh, because this is what happens when you do it live. We get handed material. No, but the Republicans are now calling him what he is. They said this man can do nothing but scare scare, scare uh, invalids, old people, and little babies, which means, you know, he, he they said, oh, no, the guy, like low. oh, they got unhappy this morning. They said this guy would have made Hitler and Stalin proud of him. Well, didn't Hitler like his babies, too, though? Uh, well, Hitler scared everybody. Oh. <laughs> Hitler loved children, but he still cared, scared them, so. Oh, okay. And new Republicans are demanding a balanced budget that will never happen at the federal level. Oh, I know. It's going to, gonna, we must have a balanced budget amendment. We'll accept nothing but a balanced budget. We're not going to get a balanced budget amendment. They're going to let them, they're going to give them the vote on it. They're going to send it to the Senate. Then the Senate's going to strip it out. And he, Harry Reid is going to send, oh, actually, no. They said Harry Reid is going to, to uh, try, but since he can't get enough Republican votes, wow. <laughs> he has to have, uh, okay, there, there are Democratic senators that are not going to pass anything that's not going to cut the budget. And there's nothing Reid does that cuts the budget. And uh, they, they, they don't get the message. They, uh, I mean, like, uh, I heard a solid thing, a poll this morning, which said the people want both parties gone. They said the, uh, the Tea Party is going to split off. Mm -hmm. Tea Party is going to form its own party. It's going to put a candidate out there to run that is not Romney or any of the big spend people. It's going to be somebody... It won't be uh, Michelle Bachman because Bachman basically doesn't have the temperament, but it will be somebody out there that's going to cut the budget, which means, how do you cut the budget? Yeah, right. You don't spend any more money, and the budget cuts itself. Well, yeah, that would be smart. If you decrease spending... And, and you don't even have to increase taxes either. No, they <laughs> said if you decrease spending by one penny on every dollar spent... Oh, like cut across the board 1%. 1% one, 1 across the board... And you don't do any damaging because Obama's increased spending by 25 percent. Oh. Which means you don't even get it back to the Bush levels, but you still save the problem. But they won't even cut spending by 1 percent. That would have been easy to do. Because they can't get reelected. Oh. Uh, okay, they said that uh, uh, two out of every three voters that the Democratic Party counts on don't pay any income taxes at all. But they pay their fair share of taxes because they pay... Ta well, anytime they shop, they pay taxes. Well, well then doesn't everybody pay their fair share of taxes according to those? According to them, but the dem oh no, the if you're a business Republican businessman, you don't pay your fair share of taxes, but Democratic businessmen do. Those are the guys yeah. that are shipping all the jobs off to China. I know there's been a influx. Oh, actually, an influx. There's been quite a few companies now that are all shipping them all off to China. And that's right. And it's all over for the Republicans, as the old guard didn't get the message of the fall election. But no, I mean they can't. I mean McCain. We McCain took money from them, and then is doing nothing uh, but saying we got to get, calling them hobbits and insulting them. And this, which is why they want their money back. They want their money back. They're going to get, but they're going to throw McCain. They said, they a lot of these people are not even going to make it to the fall elections. They're going to have a recall election this fall and throw them out instead of next fall because they're tired. They said only eight, uh, uh, was it 70, 72% uh, of the people want these people thrown out of office and they, including out. their people. Out. Usually they want, their their people are all right. Now, they, they, they said it's a pox on all, they said they would vote Obama out of office if they could hold a recall now and he knows it. And Navy Week declared it disaster by a local television station in Los Angeles. Yeah, because everything that we told the people is happening is happening, folks. Mm -hmm. 
that they you know the people can't find where they're supposed to go when they get when they get to where they're going they have they have to wait in their car for hours to get in yeah something didn't quite go right and they uh, they stopped uh, okay they stopped told you know told people well tell people Tuesday not to come uh, you know, and, uh, you have to come before two thirty. Yeah, and then they just told people today don't come at all on Thursday. Because what happened? Oh no, Friday. Don't come. On Thursday. Don't come at all on Friday. Yeah, on Thursday because the people on Thursday stood out in the cars or they waited. They, in their they cars waited for something. hours so they get to. But uh, here's the trick: is Naval Week anywhere else in the United States is counted in the tens of thousands of people coming to the vessels and stuff. And they were only talking about but, the, the thousands. They've had a few thousand people and are overwhelmed everything. Uh, oh, oh, there's a whole other such. We kind of yeah. had an idea beforehand because it wasn't as, let's just say, it wasn't on all of the local television stations like it should have been. I know. Yeah. An AWOL U.S. soldier arrested with bomb making and materials. Oh, but uh, I love it. He He's an example. Obama administration is touting him as an example of what we have to, we don't have to watch out for Muslim terrorists. We have to look at Christian terrorists. Because well, we they're the ones to be scared of. <laughs> no, no longer. Because uh, it's called convenience. Obama is producing terrorists that happen to be a Caucasian and blonde-haired and blue-eyed. Because it, it you know, it, it, I think they're turning them out now. Yeah, they're afraid of racial profiling. I guess. Well, part of it is. is Let's see, if you were to be a terrorist and they racially profiled all of one type, then you'd get the people from the other side that they're not profiling, supposedly. Yeah, but supposedly that doesn't happen. Only since oh. Obama made the, made the comment that they come, they're blonde-haired and blue-eyed Christian terrorists. And that happened within a day. Yeah, now they've had, they've had like three of them now. Ooh, yeah. But it still doesn't going to change the fact that everybody knows who's doing the problem. And, it, you know, like more, okay, they put it this way, those people that aren't terrorists are killing tens of thousands of their own people, and oh. Obama won't stop it because Obama is of another uh, Muslim it's tribe, so. Yeah. And borders and to have ripple effect across the country. Well, because it's... Are the, they talking about Borders Bookstore or Borders... Borders Bookstore. Because they, uh, it, it's the end of the, it is the end of bookstores. You'll have the you'll have the mom and pop stores where they sell things because the problem is is that um, nobody can read anymore. If you can't read, then why buy a book? Well, they said that the college bookstores are on the verge of coming to an end oh, now really? because uh, they're putting the books for the college classes out on e-readers now. I mean, okay, I got a thing on my brand new computer, my brand new Toshiba, which has got a Toshiba book reader on it. Really? Yep, means I can start reading books on my Toshiba. You mean you have that on your laptop? Yeah, isn't that amazing? <laughs> no, but no, no, no. The difference is, is that we got a good deal on my laptop because she burnt her laptop went bye bye, and she didn't get as good a deal on hers as she should have got. So they give us the deal on mine instead. So sometimes it works. I mean, mine is a mine is really top of the line. You ought to see how much it's worth. I know. Yeah. An ex New York governor seriously considering a presidential run. That's Pataki, but Pataki is a bit uh, as a spend. Um, tax and spend. He's a tax and spend person. He may say that he doesn't believe it, but it is all about how much money that he can spend. And Credit Suisse to cut jobs as second quarter sags on poor trading. Well, yeah, it's because. Um, the, uh, the problem is, is that nobody, nobody, what they're saying, they say, well, why are this today, this morning, we're going to hire 11,000 new people. You think so? No, because there's nobody buying, no one has any, it works this way, nobody buys if they don't have any money. You basically, it's why Obama is so against the internet now, is because the people that he used to get him uh, elected from the internet have lost their homes, they've lost mm -hmm. their internet, they've lost their jobs, so now he basically is anti-internet, so... Well, you know, I mean, we went shopping yesterday. Well, actually, we do go look at the malls periodically, yeah. right? Um, and I was surprised at um, how few cars there were in the... Because, actually, we were at Fry's. I've never seen so few cars at Fry's except when oh, they're closed. You could never find that. You know, on the back parking lot, there was unbelievable amount of parking. And we, you know, but we went into, we went into a mall. We went into a whole bunch of places. There was nobody at them. I know. We're at the movie theater today. We were talking in the shopping center. There was nobody at that shopping center at lunchtime. Well, and the only place was um, Apple who was introducing Leopard. Yeah, so. And former astronaut forced out of Navy after bizarre incident. Oh, that's the woman with the diapers. 
Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it, but it took three. It took four years for them to come to the conclusion. First of all, they couldn't give her a, a dishonorable discharge because she was mentally ill. It should have been a mental. Di it should have been a medical discharge. Mm. So and that's how it works. Because if a person does something because of a mental problem, you're not supposed to uh, to treat them like they were like everybody else. So. Animonte bubble from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, this is a, okay. This one's a, I know we're having a problem. It's a little windy. Today. I know. Only a career politician would, would condemn others for doing what they were elected to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is a career politician for you. I know.